All right, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Here, let's test this out. Let's see if this works. Yes. Sound commands are working. <laughs> What's up, 5-9? Yeah, I know. Hey, we were on yesterday. We were on yesterday, and then one day last week, I... Uh, Took a, a few months off, man. I could have easily streamed and I just didn't feel like going live. So, you know, that's the way it goes. <clears throat> um, so, as the title says, what's up, Jay Park? As the title says, we have a national championship game against Ohio State today. We just played Ohio State two years ago. Um, what bowl game was that? It was the Fiesta Bowl, and we were undefeated, and we didn't get to play for a natty because there was three undefeated teams. So we took it out on Ohio State and beat them 80-21. to 21. So we're hoping to uh, repeat the process today and win our uh, second natty in a row. Um, if you guys weren't here yesterday, um, two things. We are... Trying to get to that 100 wins in a row. So I'm just going to stay here until we get our 100 wins. I don't care how over the top our team ends up being and, and how uh, lopsided the games are. We're, we're going to go for 100 wins in a row. We win this game right here. That's 48 in a row. So we're almost halfway there. Um, secondly, next week, because I didn't buy... A deluxe version of the game so I can't start playing tomorrow night um, next week I will start playing MLB the show we're gonna do a st. Louis Cardinals franchise we're gonna get started earlier than we did last year because we got college football coming uh, sometime in the summertime late summer and um, depending on how the gameplay is with that game then we'll start playing the new game if the gameplay sucks like Madden then all we're going to do is sim the games and uh, do the recruiting. So, gameplay is the number one thing with the new game over everything else. <clears throat> Trumps everything else. Um, I don't care what's in the game, not in the game. The most important thing is gameplay. So, And it should be for you guys as well. Um, anyway, welcome in. Had trouble yesterday. Couldn't do any uh, sound commands here. Let's see if I can do shout outs. Yeah, let's see if we can shout out J Park. Hmm. Oh, I know why. Give me one second. Give me one second. I know why. Give me one second. <laughs> Because I didn't put in a command. Yeah, we didn't put in a shout out command. All right, we'll get we'll get that fixed for next time. <clears throat> we were having trouble with all of our chat bot yesterday because I had uh, a hard drive die on me. I had to buy a new SSD. I had to reinstall Windows 10. I had to reinstall everything. And um, I didn't have my correct settings for Streamlabs or Chatbot or any of that stuff. Um, so we were we we didn't have all of our bells and whistles. So hopefully we have ninety nine percent of them now. All right. <clears throat> I hate that my controller just turns off whenever it feels like it. All right. Here's our recruiting. <clears throat> Sorry. We have uh, two guys left on the board. They're going to the offseason. Um, and this guy is the most important one. 80 speed, 90 excel, 92 tackle, 83 block shed, 84 finesse, 75 power. We're going to move this guy to defensive end. <clears throat> um, and this is a kicker. We have this kicker, but I want to make him punter and then make him kicker. We have this stud running back with 96 speed, 93 agility, 97 
acceleration, 94 elusive, 88 juke, 88 spin, 76 break, 67 catching. This guy's a stud. Pull back. This guy here, I think it's just an extra corner. Yeah, because we have this free safety. This is a fourth string quarterback. Um, this guy is another running back with 92 elusive, 95 juke. <laughs> Stiff arm's not too good, but he's one of those. He can play DB a little bit, but he's just a speed guy. Um, probably a uh, kick returner to start. Um, but yeah, we're we're pretty loaded on this team. We're not going to get a uh, number one recruiting class because I didn't over recruit. We don't need a lot of guys, and. Uh, I'll show you why we don't need a lot of guys. <clears throat> Look, we didn't we didn't recruit one single wide receiver because this guy's probably getting cut, and all these other guys are freshmen, sophomores, and red shirts. <laughs> um, offensive line, this guy needs to move over here. I think I might have added a couple offensive line, which means we would dump these two 72, 73 guys. Um, don't need outside linebacker at all. Need a middle. And moving that one guy to D end. Um, if this guy graduate or if this guy wants to go pro, we might let him. Because we we've got plenty of defensive ends. Um because we'll just kick this guy over and let him start. Um corners, we got one to replace him. We'll get another one next year. Um so yeah. We only had 10 seniors, and uh, we we didn't need to really over-recruit. So we're in really, really good shape. So, <clears throat> anyway, that's where we stand with all of that. Um, let you look at the uh, Specta. Thank you, man. Welcome back. Welcome back. <clears throat> Pimp. Playing for a natty today, Specta. Playing Ohio State. Look at all these teams with... Uh, look at TCU. They're in the top 10 with four losses. I don't know what is wrong with this particular season, but nobody wants to play well. Specta, we're trying to get back into the swing of the streaming because we're going to start MLB next week. And uh, I'm going to do MLB and NCAA 14 at the same time, so we'll be back and forth. <clears throat> Natty time, yep. Here, look. Utah was ranked. Oklahoma was ranked. Michigan was ranked. Mizzou was ranked. <laughs> USC stayed ranked. Iowa State stayed ranked. Colorado stayed ranked. And Texas A&M, we beat their living ass in the uh, Big 12 championship game. So, yeah. We've only got three games the whole year under 50 points. So, and two of those were 49. So, if I'd have just gone for two, we would have had 50 points. So, yep. Yeah. That's where we are, man. Heisman. Our quarterback won the Heisman last year, and he finished second to our running back this year. This guy, 1,300 yards and 32 rushing touchdowns. <laughs> Look at that. He's only 87 speed. So, he's got 97 carry, though. Zeon, 89 speed, 96 excel, 96 agility, 99 awareness. He's only got 88 throw power and accuracy. Um, I think our coach is... I don't, I don't know if our coach is maxed out or not. <clears throat> yeah, those teams, when you schedule those, those, those ranked teams early and they lose, they tend to go on a, a roll of losing. I didn't check this yesterday. How many uh, All-Americans do we have? Those two, obviously. No offensive line? <laughs> the whole fucking secondary. <laughs> uh. All right, only one offensive lineman. Another D-end, another corner. Freshman, do we have any freshmen? Yeah, wide receiver, a tackle, a center. D-tackle, a corner. Here we go. 
Um, here's our championship contender. So this tells you how good your roster is going forward. And uh, it says we only have the 10th best roster next year. Probably because we have so many young players. So many sophomores and freshmen. And then it's 1-1. So um, we win out. Win this and then win those three. We'll have to play into the next season to get us to 100 wins in a row. <clears throat> so back to those baby backs can suck my left nut. We are going for 100 in a row. And I'm not leaving Louisiana until we lose. Or if we get over 100 and it gets to be just really boring, then we'll go somewhere else. But our QB is looking for 5,000 yards today. Running back, he's got a shot at 1,500. So all that's already good and taken care of. Leading in tackles. Sacks. We don't ever get enough sacks. Here, let me turn on the uh, sound for the game. Yeah, I want to expect. I want to hear them whine and complain and cry because they're fucking baby backs. We all know who they are. Barrett, the baby bitch. <clears throat> All right, enough shit talking, let's go. Let us go. Get this natty. Um, let's give them red shoes. And not the red and white ones. There we go. Let's give them gray socks too. There we go. <clears throat> We're going all red. All right, here we go. I keep forgetting I have a cough button on my new microphone so I don't have to force you guys to listen to me clear my throat all the time. <clears throat> I literally crawled out of bed at 9 o'clock. Maybe a quarter after 9. I was up to like 2, Spectre. And, uh... I was watching this Netflix documentary on Alexander the Great. It's really good. <clears throat> There's another one I want to start watching called The Gentleman. Apparently it's funny as shit, so I'll get that started tonight. There you go. We're averaging almost 56 points a game. <clears throat> 551 yards of offense. And we're at the Rose Bowl, the scene of my first natty with Mizzou. <clears throat> Dude looks like me now. I shaved all my uh, facial hair off. <clears throat> oh. Check this out. I have a cassette tape. Yes, a cassette tape, not a CD. <laughs> a cassette tape that has an interview that I did with my grandmother and my grandfather back in the early 80s for um, a social studies class that I had. And I was interviewing them about the Great Depression because they both grew up um, and lived during the Great Depression. So I haven't heard my grandfather's voice since 1983 until last night when I played it. Um, so my wife has never heard my grandfather's voice, so she got to hear it. She knew my grandmother very well. Um, she outlived him by like 20 years. But um, 25 years, something like that. But yeah, I have it. So I, I, I'm in a, a group chat with all my cousins, and uh, I told them that I have this. So now I have to get it off the cassette onto a CD so that I can download the file onto my computer and clean it up with DaVinci Resolve, remove all the dead spots because there's a lot of dead air between the questions and answers, 
and kind of boost my grandmother's volume a little bit, clean it up, make it so that uh, you can actually hear them clearly. And Jimmy, it also has my uh, my voice from when I was 16 or 17. <laughs> Sound the same, not quite as deep because I was younger. I also was not as uh, self-confident. I uh, don't didn't talk as much then as I do now, so it's uh it's it's weird to hear myself being tentative at all so so now you know me as I don't give a fuck <laughs> you guys get the uh the older less less censored version all right let's get this going doink right off the crossbar off the post Oh, man. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Let's just go with a three cloud right now. See how this goes. We're going to cover the weak side here. Yep, yep. I left my zone, and he made me pay. Can't be chasing guys across the field. Got to play your zone. All right, well, now we can actually play nickel normal. And uh, this looks like a run to the left or a counter back to the right. <laughs> there we go. Is cover three. Got him. <laughs> Blitzing linebacker right through the gap. Down he goes. Man, there was three receivers right around my guy. I didn't know which guy to cover. <clears throat> God damn it. I saw it. I was there, and I hesitated long enough to get blocked. Right there. If I just run to the edge, I make him come back inside. But I hesitated while well, I was watching another guy try to make the tackle. Fuck. Their wide receiver blocking was just phenomenal. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> Specta, yesterday I had a game... Um, first game of the day, and I can't remember who it was. I gave up 300 fucking yards rushing on the ground. Still won the game, but my God, we couldn't tackle anybody. I had a quarterback break six tackles on me in one game. <clears throat> I 
Get him. God damn it. Is he short? Yes. Are they going to go for it? I would go for it. Fuck, I'd go for it on 4th and 13. Yeah, they're going for it. Oh, beat me with my own play. <clears throat> All right. Last time we played these guys, we put 80 on them. So they're looking for a pound of flesh themselves. This guy ran two kicks for touchdowns yesterday. One was 107 and one was 106. Uh, God damn. Couldn't even do the fake handoff. He was like there when we tried to do the handoff and tackled us both. All right. <clears throat> Here we go, T. Will. He needs a big day. He needs like 130 yards to get to 1,000. If you guys have noticed this, but I've seen a lot of weird rubber band snapping action with players and uh, just some weird shit going on with this game lately. I don't know if it's because the hen update isn't, I don't know. I have no idea, but the gameplay has just been off. It's been really, really weird. Yeah, this game is perfect. <laughs> T Wheel threads the needle there, not only with the pitch, but the run. Look at this pitch. And then he goes whoop, right between, man. If he had more speed. I'm looking square all day. You're going to play off like that with no safety help? It's an easy 20-yard in route. Oh, he doesn't hang on. God damn. That was a touchdown, guy. <clears throat> that was not floated. That was thrown on a line. Perfect right to him. Jumps. Makes the catch and can't hold on. And where's my blocking on the right side? What the fuck? I guess they just want me to throw all day. I'll, I mean, I will. I'm not opposed to just throwing all day.
breaks uh, legendary's passing yards. <clears throat> there we go, T. Will, get away from your dude. Forty-nine passing touchdowns on the year. This is like an NWO game. We've had two drives and we have a minute and a half left in the first quarter. <clears throat> oh, I get that kicker. He's going to get red-shirted unless I need to uh, cut my starting kicker for extra roster space, but he's going to be, uh, he's going to be, uh, day one, like a 97 kick power. So what was that? How did nobody sack him? And then he just spins and throws a fucking dot. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, throw it away. Thank you. <clears throat> it's weird. Sometimes these offenses... We'll just chew up one formation and you switch it to a different one and all of a sudden they just can't figure it out and I don't know why. Keep them in front of me. Make them punt. There we go. Hope the new game doesn't have uh, Super Bowl bounces on the punts either, so you can actually put the ball down inside the 10 without having to kick it out of bounds. They want me to throw all day, I'll throw all day. I don't give a shit. We already got our thousand yards on our running back. Trying to get as many yards as we can before the quarter's up. There we go. Get that tight end involved. Nine out of ten. The one drop was that should have been touchdown that the guy just fat fingered. 
Jesus. They do not want us to run today. Barely got that pass off. My goodness. We got to stop on defense. Now we flip the uh, field on them on the scoring. So now we're ahead and they're chasing us. And we get the ball to start the second half. So if we can get another stop here, this game's over. In the second quarter. Not this shit again. <clears throat> All right. I did change my Streamlab settings to adjust um, the bit rate and all kinds of shit. So hopefully. Uh, might, lo might look a little uh, pixelated at times, but that's to keep the stream going. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. My wife has one of those picture frames that uses Wi-Fi to cycle different photos through. And it's uh, fucking up the bandwidth here, so I had to go turn it off. Fucking quarterbacks. Killing me. I can't even see who's open before he's throwing the ball. Dude's offside. Ah, fuck. Dude ran on the, my side of the ball to get to the other side of the formation. The fuck was that? Coach call the play. Oh, well, that last.
last drive was wonderful and this drive is garbage. Hey, Jimmy, time is 420. Gotcha, bitch. How did he gain a yard from that? It looks like a TFL. Big play here. I got to hold him to three. Just stay with the defense I called. All right, we need to eat at least three minutes off the clock. To cut that back inside and not outside. They're so fast, they can't get to the edge. Well, he's not the fastest. He's, what, 87 speed, so that makes a huge difference. We got to run up the middle with him. Like I said, got to run up the middle. The defense is super fast. You run straight at them. If they're slow, you run away from them. timeouts we can afford to run the ball here Top raiding with a party of four. Thank you, Rocky. Welcome, welcome. 
My shout outs still don't work because I forgot to put the command in. So, Spectre, Jimmy can shout out Rocky. I saw you're playing WWE, man. I was uh, WWE. Yeah, WWE. How was the... Uh, how was the wrestling this morning? Tackle me, don't fumble, thank you. T-Will with the uh, first down, and now we're going to call timeout. But welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. We are in the, in the natty against Ohio State. We played these guys two years ago in the Fiesta Bowl and put 80 on them. So <laughs> we're trying to... Didn't score. All right, I'll call timeout. Trying to beat the shit out of them. Twice in three years, win our second natty in a row. Get our 48th straight win. And we get the ball to start the second half. So this uh, could be a nice 14 point swing. As long as we don't shit the bed here and give up a long kickoff return like I did against Brusso in the NWO. <clears throat> oh. Hey, Jimmy, Spectre was the only person this year, only human this year to beat me by more than two scores. I, by more than ten points. So, I'm improving, man. I'm improving. JT beat me by 10, Spectre beat me by 21, and everybody else was a one-score game. So, progress, man, progress. There we go. That should eat off the rest of the clock. We'll go to the half with a seven-point lead and get the ball. All right. Jerry, I'm telling you, Jerry, I'm telling you I have this power and I have no control over it. I don't know why I'm getting an echo on that. I'm going to have to figure out what's going on with that. Lay down. Let's try this uh, outside run the other way. Run away from that star player over there. They're playing some sort of zone. God damn. Block shed and everything. He's just too slow to run outside on these guys.
I said, we just got to run straight at him. He doesn't need his speed to go straight forward. Yeah, they want me to throw the ball. And I want to chew some clock while we put this ball in the end zone and make it a two-score game. Just leave the fullback open. Thank you. I'll take that. Trying to get the sound so that it doesn't double. Monitor off. Let's try this again. No. I gotta figure figure something out. The uh, losing that hard drive fucked everything up, so now we're starting from scratch, and I'm gonna go online again and look up why the sound is playing twice in my stream. Get him. God damn. All right, well, they're down two scores. 11 and a half minutes left in the game. So if they want to run the ball, I'm not going to be too upset. Fucking kill that dude. How was that a pass? Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. That was a fumble. How was that a pass? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the bullshit I've been talking about, Spectre. How was that a pass? That's a straight up fumble. And if it was a pass, it's intentional grounding because there was no one near him. Wow. Now we are going slow motion because I did too many replays. Fuck. 
We're going to be lagging the rest of the game. Specky, do you remember how to get rid of this lag? I know, uh... Who the hell was it? I'm trying to blank on his damn name. <clears throat> Somebody knows how to do this. And it's a fake punt. These motherfuckers. That's fake punt number 24. No one sheds a block. This is fucking ridiculous. He gets the first down. <laughs> I'm not sure why he didn't pitch both times, but uh, I'll take those two TFLs in a row. for nothing. <clears throat> God, I don't want to get rid of this lag. It is just so hard to play with all this lag.
Oh, this lag is fucking horrible. To the house, there we go. Oh, oh, yeah. I don't know why it's doubling up. I don't know. All right, two score lead, seven minutes left. So after this game, we'll finish up recruiting. I have to adjust my depth charts so uh, all of our red shirts don't leave. And <clears throat> finish up recruiting, get to the off season, set our uh, depth charts, our schedule, do our initial recruiting board. Fucking four guys were on him. This guy, that's four straight times he hasn't pitched the ball when he should have. Catch that. That's a pick six, dude. My God. I need like 305 yards or some shit like that to get to 5,000, so... <clears throat> Man, I had to float that because of number 40. There we go. All right, so he's over 5,000 yards now. Ah, 
Saw that backside hole, tried to run around it. Gotta get, keep going forward, man. Keep going forward. Where's my inside? There it is. <coughs> There you go, new school record for rushing yards after we set a new school record for passing yards and passing touchdowns. Let a little bit of time run off this clock here. Get it under five minutes before I snap the ball. Who's hurt? Oh, my running back's hurt. No, my quarterback got hurt. How the fuck did my quarterback get hurt on a... No, it is a running back. Looked like my quarterback was on the ground. I'm like, how did my quarterback get hurt handing off the ball? It's like Sammy Sosa pulling a ribcage muscle sneezing, right? Just got to kill four and a half minutes. I'll manually bring that running back back. He's not going to be done for the game. Can't be running the read option now. They got to be uh, throwing the ball. Oh, I want bass. Jesus, I'm trying to. I'm clicking circle, trying to get to 48 on the left, coming across, and it kept giving me guys that were way far away from him. Dropped it. Why did those guys just stand there? I had to run with my user guy over and hit him in the leg to get him down. Everybody just stood there and let him run. I'm so tired of that spinning, falling forward animation. Back to the three three five unless they're going no huddle. Yeah. <clears throat> I 
Didn't have enough time. Didn't want to call timeout. Two guys get just fucking collapsed at the goal line by one blocker. God, that ball went like 30 yards on the ground. No, I'm, I'm just spamming triangle. No one was picking the ball up. Got gremlins in the system, Specta. Serious gremlins. Fucking out of control, man. So tired of this bullshit lag. go at the first down they're out of timeouts now we can just run the ball I do want one more touchdown hung up on my own guy and can't get off
Here we go. I don't know if I have touchdown. Nope, I don't have it programmed in. Here we go. All right, Jimmy, just for you, we're going to try and replicate what I did against 49er George. We're going to do this squib kick and try and bounce it off the front row right back to ourselves. Maybe I just need to kick it straight instead of at an angle. We'll see. All right, two more plays. All right, this should be the last play. They should huddle up. Hurry up, get up there. They don't need to spike it. They need to just, are they they are gonna spike it. Yeah, they're gonna spike it. They don't need to spike it. Three, two, one. Wow. He wasted four seconds. He could have just snapped the ball. All right. Game over. Game over, man. It's game over. And nobody wants to talk today. Everybody just wants to sit and watch, and no one wants to talk, man. Old baseball cards, nice. I got, I don't know, four or five thousand of them in my back room. From this, mostly from the '60s and '70s and early '80s. <clears throat> Jimmy, you mean I got a Lou Brock rookie card with the Cubs? There you go, Zeon, 357, four touchdowns, no interceptions. No sacks. I can't look at stats because the game is wigging out. So we'll just exit out of here. All right. The laggy shit is gone.
All right, if you came for gameplay, we're done with gameplay today. The rest is all going to be administrative stuff. <clears throat> back to back. There we go. Did I get boosted? Yep. I thought he said I had one skill point. I guess not. All right, Zeon finished with 5,061 pass yards, 52 touchdowns, nine picks. Williams just shy of 1,500 with 34 touchdowns. And Will needed 50, 54 more yards. He needed 108, 125. We'll get there. A free safety made 88 tackles. Jesus. It's a lot of TFLs. Don't get a lot of sacks because they keep shrugging off my sack attempts. <clears throat> so he obviously didn't know what he had, right? Let me save right now. <clears throat> Jason Williams, Sharif Abdul Rahim, Lamar Odom, Terry Porter, Gary Payton. That's back when I was actually following the NBA, Jimmy, in the early 2000s. Like, I really followed the NBA in the 80s, Bird and Magic and all those guys, into the 90s. And then somewhere around when LeBron started, I really stopped giving a shit. And I know everybody loves everybody loves Kobe. I hated Kobe with a passion. I could fucking stand Kobe. All right, let's get to the next week. We'll set our depth charts and move on. Oh, you guys ever want to read something gruesome? Read the autopsy report on Kobe after his accident. Holy fuck. That dude was torn up. Oh, come on. Oh, season's over with. Get our off season over with. I gotta duplicate this spreadsheet because we're gonna have to uh, update it for next season. We are definitely living out the rest of the contract um, at this school. We have three more years left, and we're going to play those three years. And um, I think I have to play a fourth to get to 100 in a row if we can keep winning. We'll, we'll just go by ear. If I, if I lose somewhere along the line and we don't get to 100 in a row, then I will leave the school um, when my contract is up. We'll just we'll we'll play out the contract and then we'll go somewhere else. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> His QB rating for the season was two forty three point one. There we go. I broke Bud Wilkinson's win streak, Jimmy. Forty-eight. We need forty. No, fifty-two more. So what is that? So if we fourteen times three is forty-two. That would get us to ninety. 
So we're going to have to go into a fourth season and win our first 10 games to get to 100. So we're basically going to have to go undefeated for four more years. All right, broke the school record. Broke the school record. Broke the school record. Look at that. He broke Jake DeLome's passing yards for the school. He ended up with 9,500 9, yards on the nose. Wow. 9,500 exactly. <laughs> Need to challenge myself. I am challenging myself. I'm trying to get to 100. <laughs> it's a challenge, Jimmy. It's a serious challenge. I came up short last time because we went to Duke. So we're not going to do that again. We're going to stay here and do it here, and then we'll go. <clears throat> I learned my lesson. Don't change schools and go to a shit school with a long win streak on the line. All right, Florida came in second. A&M came in third. Texas, Ohio State. All right. <clears throat> Let's get the uh, depth chart set here. Four more years, guys. we got to do this four more times. All right. Um, Chris is a senior. So we got to put the freshman in there. And then the sophomore. Halfback has to go to Jason Bradley. And then Jeff Nicholson. And then Greg Andrews. X fine wide receiver. We need Brad McDonald. Kenny Riley. Wow, Joe Butler went up two. Okay. Actually, I don't mind if that freshman leaves, but we'll try to keep him around. He's 94 speed. And this will be Kareem. And this will be T. Will. All right, tight end. Folks. I'm going to change his name. You can change his name to Guy Folks if you ever saw V for Vendetta. Left guard is going to be this 78 red shirt. And then this 73. Okay. Center's fine. Right guard, we got to go with the 78. 72. Jimmy, I need us to get Hen updated so I can finish the fucking season. Finish my recruiting and uh, get us going into the next year so we can get one more year in before we have to uh, bitch and complain about the new game sucking ass. <clears throat> Dark Specta. Dark Specta may start next year on right end instead of left end. We'll see. <clears throat> All right, right end. 79. 77. Anybody wants on the team, we got a shit ton of guys, freshmen, that are going to be here. Look at this. All of these guys that are in red with X's are going to be playing next year. <laughs> And any of these freshman red shirts here, these guys are going to be starting. So, you want to get on the team, this is the now, this is the time to do it. Nope. There we go. What's up, Lynn Weezy? How you doing, man? Dude, we won back-to-back -back natties.
stay at the school for 30 more seasons. We're going to stay here for at least three more. Um, yeah, we're going to stay here for at least three more. We have to win... Um, 52 more, right? So, if we go undefeated for three more years, then we'll have to play one more season and win 10 to get to 100. So, we got to go basically undefeated four more years. And we're going to stay here the next three. And if we lose somewhere within there and we lose the winning streak, then I'll leave at the end of the contract. But if we, if we win, um, I'm going to stick around for one more year and um, break the record and then we're out of here. We're, we're challenging ourselves to break a record. <laughs> we are, we are uh, in the challenge mode because, you know, some other streamers think you're uh, weak if you... Uh, yeah. If you're, you're too good. Being too good is not acceptable. You have to suck because it's no fun to watch excellence. You, you've got to suck. should be everybody so once you do all of that then we save the dynasty because if someone leaves we can always reload fix whatever the depth chart had them set at and make them stay and I, I've said they're chicken to play users head to head Jimmy but I think they're playing on PC so they can't play us anyway <clears throat> Yeah, if you want a real challenge, come play the NWO guys. Um, I'm the worst by far at defense in that league, and I still put up a shit ton of points <laughs> and make the games close and exciting. So, yeah, I'd love to see them play against you on defense or revamp or uh, Coach Brusso. Fuck. They'd rage quit by halftime. I know I saved it. I'm um, going to do it again because my brain is just not... Yeah. Yeah, and recruiting is a whole different animal. I'm not doing as well as I normally would do because I don't have the extra points you guys have. So I don't have as many pipelines as you guys. And... Uh, I don't have some of the school bonuses you guys have. So I'm a little bit behind the eight ball with not being able to progress my coach at all. All right, got another upgrade on my coach. They want to sign us to an extension. How long? Six-year extension. Well, that would take care of us playing four years. I'm going to go ahead and sign this so that I know that I'll be here long enough to get to that fourth year. We can always leave anytime we want. So I'm going to go ahead and sign this extension. Changing my spreadsheet here to include. There we go. <clears throat> All 
All right, so we signed an extension. So we know we're going to be here to have a shot at that record. So I just got to make sure. Finally here, Rocky, yeah. Did you see us? We won. <clears throat> that sucks. So we won, and our running back won the Heisman. Our quarterback, who won the Heisman last year, finished second. Um, I just signed an extension, so we're going to be here as we go forward. and um, We're going to be here until we lose a game. Um, as soon as we lose a game, we'll leave the next year. Yeah, we're going for 100 in a row. And once we get to 100 in a row, then we'll just leave. We'll go somewhere else. Um, but if we lose a game, then we're going to leave the next year. So that's that's where we stand. At any point, if we lose a game, we're leaving at the end of that season. <coughs> Until we get to 100. Once we pass the 100, then we're leaving immediately. <coughs> Got a new offensive coordinator. Here's our coach info. You can look on the right-hand side. Yeah. Picked the wrong one. There it is. 48 straight. We're 52 and 2 as a head coach. Four conference championships, two national championships, undefeated in bowl games, undefeated against top 25 and rivals. Our recruiting average recruiting class is third, two coach of the year, four Heisman, 38 All-Americans. <clears throat> oh, players leaving. Freshman left end, Nick, Nick, how fast are you? He's an 80 speed. Let me look at this. I might let him go. We have an 84 freshman ahead of him. We have an 86 junior. I'm moving that middle linebacker to D end. So he's just going to replace this dude. Um, Going to Kansas, huh? Only guy. I have four freshmen defensive ends on the team. One's an 84, one's a 79, one's a 78, one's a 77. So the 78 wants to go. So plus I have two guys that are going to be seniors this year. So I'm okay with him leaving. We'll see if we can keep him. Yeah. We'll let him go. Go ahead, Nick. Go play for the fucking Jayhawks, you piece of shit. Our quarterback's going in the first round. Halfback's not because he's he's not tall enough. He's not heavy enough. No, probably his overall's not high enough. <clears throat> Don't you wish you could export these to uh, Madden? All right, so draft results. There we go. Nobody wants to transfer in because they have no playing time. I wish it would let us look at the other players transferring to other schools on that page. <clears throat> All right, and I'm going to let you know we will start the next season tomorrow. So we're going to finish the offseason. We're going to set up our recruiting board. We're going to get all the way to week two, and then we're going to stop today. But then tomorrow we're going to come back and play week two, three, and four. Um, just because the uh, new baseball game comes out for me next week doesn't mean I'm going to play my franchise right away because I want to go in and um, 
I'm not going to wait for the roster one that has Yamamoto and all the other Japanese guys on there. Fuck it. We'll just deal with that next time. Um, but I want to go in and, and update the top 100 prospects to make sure they're high enough overalls that they can get to the majors within one to two years because that's a major problem in MLB The Show franchise is they don't rate the prospects high enough. Um if you went from the start of the season roster, Ellie De La Cruz would never make it to the majors. Um, it would take him at least two, two, maybe three years beyond right now to get to the major leagues because they don't rate them high enough. Plus, I want to make sure all the pitchers have the right pitch mixes because I know George Kirby throws a knuckleball now, and I know he's not going to have it in the game. <clears throat> all right. Out of these two, we want this guy the most. because I already have a sophomore punter, so if I don't get the kicker, it's okay. The kicker that I've already signed is going to be my punter, and Pollock is supposed to be my kicker. Um, but it's not a big deal. I have a junior kicker, so these two guys are going to get both get redshirted. Um, where are we at on this guy? We're trailing. Okay. Zach Martin rookie card? Nice. We're going to put him at eight. Put him at seven. All right, give us both guys. Jimmy, I got a bunch of football cards from the 70s as well. <clears throat> got some basketball cards. I got a bunch of hockey cards. I got a Wayne Gretzky rookie card. It's not in the greatest shape, but um, if I had just a separate room with a door that I could put all my shit in and go through, I would I would go through my cards and show them on camera. Um, Jimmy, I might have to uh, do that for you sometime on Discord. So we're not doing it on a stream. I can just do whatever. All right, we got both guys. Go through all my cards and I can put it right up on the camera for you. <clears throat> <clears throat> all right, we got our stud middle linebacker that's going to go to defensive end. All right, this is what we got. Um, kicker, punter. This guy's going to the end, although he's 5'10", 172. No, he's the running back. I'm sorry. This is the guy that we're, uh, we got for revamp. This is the middle linebacker, 6'237". I might bump him up to 6'4". Fullback, stud corner, outside. Probably kicking him into the middle. This tight end's got 80-something speed, 80-something hands, route running. Guy's a stud receiving tight end. There's the defensive end that'll replace the other guy. Got another D-tackle, replace the free safety, extra quarter. Got These guys are all extra. This is another running back with 95 speed. He's from Greeley, Colorado. That's where I went to college. University of Northern Colorado. <clears throat> All right, top classes. We finished number four because we didn't over recruit, and it signed some extra guys because I did not have I did not have nineteen guys. I did not sign nineteen guys, so the game added extra players that I didn't want. It signed like four extra guys. I hate when it does that. All right, changing positions. Uh, go to the athletes first. 95 speed. Break tackle. Great elusive. Spin, juke, carry, catch. Jumping. This 
gets he's he's a better safety, but we're playing him at running back. Seventy-three halfback. Where is he elsewhere? It's gonna be much higher at safety. No, stays the same. All right, we're gonna play you at running back. All right. Perry McFadden, I think, is going to be our starter next year. We got two sophomores, a senior, and this freshman. Yeah, Perry's a dude that has 99 accuracy. <laughs> we don't have great throw power. Andrews has got our best throw power. But that accuracy. What is his carry? Carry's not good. Oof. Elusive. Break tackles. Okay. Acceleration's good. Speed's good. Yeah, we may have to go with Andrews instead. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll think about it here in a minute. All right. This is the stud. 96 speed. 97 excel. Yeah, see, they added this guy, and I don't want him. Freshman, junior, freshman, sophomore, freshman. So we're going to redshirt this guy. We're going to start Jake Houston, I think. I told Revamp we would start him. He's got the most elusiveness, acceleration, agility. Yeah, we're just going to go with the true freshman right off the rip. And i got to remember, Revamp needs to come in here and tell me what he wanted to name him because I forgot what he wanted to name him. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, we don't need this wide receiver, especially with 81 speed. Yeah, we got this guy, 83 speed. Oof. I might cut this tight end because he's so fucking slow. Senior, junior, freshman, freshman. So I could let him play and redshirt this guy. Although I'd rather redshirt him and have him for four full years. I can just move this guy down to the depth chart. So this guy may get cut. Although I'm I'm really tempted to cut this sophomore and go with... We'll see. I could always let the 67 play as the third stringer and just redshirt this guy. <clears throat> we might do that. All right, so... Right tackle, we've got to move you to left tackle. Senior freshman, sophomore, sophomore, junior, senior freshman, sophomore. All right, we're good on the offensive line. Defensive end. Senior freshman, sophomore. These are all red shirted except the senior. Your sophomore, freshman, freshman. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with that. D tackle is fine. Yeah, th this guy is getting cut. We didn't add him. Probably going to cut this junior. Yeah, we need some corners. Probably going to need three corners. Those guys are fine. Those guys are fine. We'll cut this Juco because I didn't add him. All right. And I think Cooper is the punter. changes and now I'm going to save right here so that we get into training and all that stuff um, and I decide I want to move somebody to a different position we'll just re go back reload that save make that change and then advance the training again
I don't look at the training. I'll just look at what they are when we're done. I don't care about the, the training numbers. I want to know what their final number is. <clears throat> Cut players. Yay. Pack your shit. You're going home. We got to cut seven guys. You're going. Bye-bye. Yeah, we're good there. If I have to, I'll cut that senior fullback. You're gone. And uh, although Brian did well for us, I think uh, he's gone too. So we have some. No, this senior, Ian Lee's gone. Don't need you. Yeah, we're going to cut this guy. Senior, junior, red shirted, and he's going to play as a freshman on third team. Three guys to cut. I don't think we have anybody on the offensive line to cut. No, nope. we're in really good shape. Left end. Caps might get cut. This guy's getting cut for sure. Mark Ward. We'll, we'll think about him. He might get cut. He's got 57 awareness as a senior. That's not good. Oh, refresh, guys. Refresh. Hmm. 75 speed. Yes, 90 speed outside linebacker. Jesus. Um. Burks might be a cut. Not cutting any corners. Nope. Yeah, cutting you. So we have one guy to cut. Considering cutting this punter. We don't even really use them, right? Yeah, there's really no difference between the two. So we're just going to cut this guy, let the other guy play, and redshirt the kicker. There we go. All right, now we got to fill out our depth chart. If you're new here, this is how we keep track of our uh, depth chart to make sure we don't over-recruit or under-recruit any particular position. Um, as soon as this changes and gets to the, uh, the next page, we will pop in. I'll show you right now. We're going to fill out this depth chart just like we have here. And uh, color code the guys we are red shirting, color code all the seniors, and uh, see where we are deep and where we're shallow. And we'll do that in uh, one second. Ask me if I want to reset my coaching trees. Yeah, no, we're good. And we're off to the preseason. All right, so anybody who hasn't seen this before, speak up. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, everybody else, you know, it's old hat for you. You guys are used to this. If you don't get this step right, this is where you have weak spots in your team, and it will fuck you up for two to three years. We're going to do this right now. Start filling this in. <clears throat> Chip. 
chair is squeaking like crazy. All of these uh, juniors are guys that we're going to be trying to sign their replacements for this year. So we're going to go after one quarterback. We're not going after any running backs. We're not going after a fullback. So we're going after one quarterback. We're going to go after three wide receivers. <clears throat> Probably no tight ends. Good tight end, we're gonna red shirt. So, so we'll add one more tight end. Doesn't look like we're going to go after any offensive lineman. When's the last time you saw? Well, one. We're going to go after a center. That'll save us a whole lot of time on the recruiting side. Offensive linemen eat up a lot of points and time every week, so we have a, we need a tackle and a center, and that's it. shirt one of these two freshmen and not the other I just want to split up that class and the guy that has the least awareness is going to get red shirted so we're going to need one defensive end Love dropping streams for even one second, man. Just fucking ridiculous. Don't need a D tackle. We're good there. So, one outside linebacker. Red 
redshirt that guy and we're gonna go after I'm gonna say two corners Three safety is covered I think we need a strong safety yeah should be it. All right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten seniors. Again, only ten seniors. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we only need twelve players. So we're only going to cut two guys. So since we only need twelve, we're going to go after the best twelve we can find. All right. So now we got to go back through and actually do the red shirts in the game. Good there. Hmm. Now the question is who do we want to play a quarterback? His accuracy is off, it's got better throw power. These guys are much more accurate. <clears throat> the only problem is they're more prone to fumbling the ball with that carry number. This guy's the most elusive of the of the three. Better break tackle. Highest speed. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to go with Andrews, the senior. And while it's this dude's turn to be the starter, this guy's got much better running stats. So. Houston is going to be our starter, and I need revamp to show up and change this dude's name.
So Specta, you're the number two D end on both sides. And you're the number three defensive tackle. <clears throat> Jimbo Pimp Nasty. God, there's 90 speed John Rambo. <laughs> yeah, Specta is not going to play middle linebacker. I'm good with all of that. All right, I get an extra pipeline. Take Alabama. Uh, what do we got? I got California, Texas, Louisiana, Missouri, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Ohio, Pennsylvania. And New York. We got all the nice big states. Those are all the best states. Illinois is actually low key pretty good too. <clears throat> all right, schedule. <laughs> yeah, not playing Temple and James Madison. All right, so Colorado and Texas. Open week there. K State, Iowa State, West Virginia. LSU. We played them last year. Alright, so I'm going to play that week and not take that week off. So this is going to be open. And this is going to be Florida. And this is going to be... <laughs> We'll leave Miami. We'll play Georgia. Georgia, Miami, Ole Miss. That'll be our next stream. We'll play those three teams. Then Oklahoma, Missouri, Kansas. Got a bye week. Then West Virginia, Iowa State, K-State. Then Florida, Colorado, Texas. All right, so home and away. Home, away, home, away, home, away, away, and away, but we are going to make this a neutral site game. <clears throat> Specty wants to play in Soldier Field against Georgia. <laughs> We can play in Lambeau Field, really? Arrowhead? It's playing Soldier Field. Home away. Way home, way home, way home. Way home, way home. Home away. All right. Looks good to me. <clears throat> Um, so we got red shirt done, depth chart, pipeline, schedule. Let me save this, and then we'll go into the recruiting. This is the fun part. This is the kid in the candy store part, where we get to pick what we want to go after. Hold on. I need to write this shit down so I know what I'm looking for.
10 seniors, 12 recruits. I forgot, we didn't do a shot after we won the natty, so here we go. Finally found a house, awesome. Did you ever, uh, did you put a bid in on it? Is that what you're saying, you just found one to actually put a bid on? Sign the paperwork, nice. Well, here you go, Rocky. Here's to you and your girl, man. You're an awesome dude. Glad I got to know you. <clears throat> and as a homeowner, <clears throat> it's the little shit that's going to eat you up, man. <laughs> Lawnmower, weed whacker, all the tools you're going to need to fix shit around your house. <clears throat> your fucking annoying neighbors. We first moved into this house. They were building the highway out beyond the uh, common ground. So it wasn't, there wasn't a highway out there. But they were working on it so you could, you know, watch and hear them doing construction. And there's a train track that runs through the woods as well. And they had to build an overpass in the ground and then dig all the dirt out from underneath it. And the first week or two we were living here, some motherfucker driving that train blasted his horn at 430 in the morning repeatedly. My wife and I both bolted up straight out of bed like, what the fuck was that? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, we used to have a goldfish pond in our backyard that was like four foot long, three feet across, and about four foot deep. We had Japanese koi that were like this fucking big. Here. Here's a ruler. So they were literally eight to 12 inches long swimming in this pond. And then there was a flood down on the floodplain, really, really bad, like, you know, flood of the century type thing. And all the fucking frogs moved into our goldfish pond <laughs> and died over the winter, killed the fish because the fish will drop below the freeze point and they will like hibernate in the water. Well, the frogs died and they killed the water, which killed the fish. So we had to get rid of all of that. I had to dig all that shit out. The stench was terrible. Put a new liner in, fill it back in, fix the pH buy new koi, put them in, we would name them, and anyway, they died again, so we just said, fuck it, and filled the whole damn thing in, I put a, a concrete pathway down to the lower half where the, the pond used to be, and just said, fuck it, but the shit you gotta deal with, <sighs> all right, team needs, what does the computer say we have as a need, look at all those bees on the left hand side, I can't believe we're only C plus on halfback and tight end. And free safety is the only non B on defense. So our team is ready to fucking roll. We're ready to dominate. We have no needs. That's why, guys, that's why this is important. All right. We're, we're deep enough everywhere that the game says I don't have a need. Well, that means we don't have a senior with a freshman, junior, sophomore behind us and nothing behind it. Anywhere there's a senior, there's also a, a replacement in there. There's always a replacement, okay? So we are not short at any position. So we can go after whatever the fuck we want and we don't have to worry about it giving us a walk-on, okay? <clears throat> and these are all of our bonuses for recruiting. Look at those A's. We still have work to go. Um, championship contender. It said we had the 10th best roster, but it's ranking us number five. 
okay? One, two, three, four, five. We have the best roster moving forward, and that will never change. The way I recruit, um, and now that I have Insta Commit, we will never, we're still 95, 95, 93. We still haven't gotten to a 99 overall, guys. <laughs> we still are not a 99 overall, and we're a six star school at Louisiana. Um, if we bum rush this entire conference this year, which I expect us to do, we'll move to the SEC next year. We'll just flip us in Arkansas next year, okay? We'll just flip us in Arkansas. We'll go to the SEC. Because we already moved Missouri over. And Missouri and Arkansas are rivals, so that, that's why we would flip Arkansas. <clears throat> So, we have no needs, and we're good to go. So, let's go find no deal breakers, top 10 schools. Let's go. This is the fun part. This is like the icing on the cake. We are so good, and we're going to get even fucking better. <laughs> we, <laughs> <coughs> we have a five-star wide receiver that runs a 4 4 6 He's a possession receiver, but he runs a 4-4-6. We also have this guy, 6-3 and runs a 4-4-2. We have this five-star 81 overall tackle. Here's another wide receiver that we won't get because he runs too slow. There's another, what is it, 6-4-2? Is this a quarterback? Please be a quarterback. No, he's not. He's a wide receiver. Another five-star tackle. I might take both and just move one to center. What is this guy? This guy's a running back. We don't need him. Four-star guard. Here's a here's a four-star guard. A four-star center. <laughs> oh my gosh. This guy's too slow. We don't take pocket passers. This guy's not bad. All right, let's go by position. I'll put him on the board. Nope. These guys are all too slow. Don't need a halfback or a fullback. We're going straight to wide receiver. Uh, their overalls are too low. We'll take him. We'll take him. I feel like Param Crow. I'll take him. And I'll take him. And I'll take him. Tight end. Blocking tight end runs a 4-6. Yeah, we'll take him. 420 bench, Jimmy. 420. What's the 478? That's 72 speed. Nope. That's an offensive lineman. Sorry. We'll look at uh, better tight ends. All right, we'll take you and you. Nope. Not strong enough, not fast enough. <laughs> All right, so... I'll throw you and leave you alone. What do we got at center? God, he's slow. We'll add you. Defensive end, we need one. So I want the fastest guy. Fastest guy with the biggest squat. And yeah, we'll throw you on the board. Yeah, definitely throw you on the board. We don't need D-tackle. We need outside linebacker. Yep. 4-5-8 with a 6-30 squat. And you. Yeah, I'll throw you. Got any middles we can kick to the outside? 
Nope. Corners. We need two of these bad boys. So corners, you sort by squat. You want fast, hard hitters. All right, this guy's a Juco. Um, I'll take you. We'll throw him on the board even though we're seventh. And you. And you. And you. And we'll look for more. Don't need free. Need a strong. And put you. DBs, we're going to look for some really good guys that are good overalls. All right, don't need you. All right, we're second on this guy. What is he? Good pitch. Man and zone, no press. He's a running back, defensive back. But A speed, A excel. Yeah, take you. St. Ann, Missouri is like 10 minutes away. It's right by the airport. C.J. Parham. He's a wide receiver, running back. We don't need a running back. We'll take you for wide receiver, though. Alonzo Lewis is a quarterback that's not very elusive. So I'm not... Yeah, I'm going to let you go. Um, you are good carrying good. He's not very elusive. What else does he play? He's a 4-4. He's a wide receiver. We'll throw you on the board as a wide receiver. Nope. You're a running back. I don't need a running back. Do not need a running back. Yeah, you're, you're a wide receiver in a corner, so we'll throw you on the board. <clears throat> you are a wide receiver. What about you? Are you a quarterback? Yes, you are. No elusiveness, though. Yeah, I'll take a chance on you anyway. All right, we still have eight guys to go. So these are just players that have us in the top 10. So we have 27 guys. Remember, we only need 12 guys. So let's go pipeline. Let's see what else we have pipeline. 1,400. We're going to look at DBs. We're going to corners and safeties. Strong safety. We're going to sort by squat and look for low speed this guy Let's throw both of you guys on the board don't need a free oh this guy is pretty hard to turn down Oof. Ooh. Let me go look at my spreadsheet here. What do we got? No, nope, we do not need him. We have a 79 freshman and a 76 freshman being redshirted behind an 85 senior. We do not need this guy. We have nowhere to play him. If he had B man coverage, we could move him to say, to corner. But we, we don't have room for this guy. All right, this guy, these B's across the board. Yeah, we'll throw you on the board. What about this guy? You don't have a good bonus. It doesn't have press. <clears throat> All right, let's look at middle. I want, ooh, ooh, yes. Runs a 4.5 with a 7.05 squat and a 4.25 bench. Yeah, we'll throw you on the board just for the hell of it. <laughs> just for the hell of it. I mean, he might get insta committed the first week, but look at this guy. He runs a 458 with a 430 and a 690. Yes, thank you. Defensive end. Fast guys with high squats and bench press. Yep. I'll throw you on the board. We got two more guys. We 
four six four four six four yes all right quarterback 80 80 overall scrambler yeah just for shits and giggles <clears throat> yeah we're at the point where we can just throw guys on the board all right so you do not need to scout these guys. The system will automatically scout them in the preseason. So we're just going to advance. We're just going to advance. Jimmy, I'm like this this close to just buying some gummies. Instead of having to smoke shit, I'll just eat the gummies. All right, so now we're going to look and see what we're going to scout the rest of the guys. And we're going to try to insta commit as many guys as we can. And then we're going to figure out which guys we're going to put points on. And then we'll advance to week two. And we're going to see which guys are left. We're going to rebuild our board after week two. So this is how this works. I should have put out a recruiting video just by itself a long fucking time ago. Everything I learned, I learned from Param Crow, Flimlo Reps, Reddit, and Operation Sports, and then my own shit. <clears throat> yeah, less smell for sure. Yeah, we'll be out and it'll be like, somebody's smoking pot. My wife's like, what? I said, smell that skunky weed? Somebody's smoking some nasty fucking pot. Plus, if I wanted to, I can just eat half the gummy, right? <laughs> I don't have to eat the whole thing. <clears throat> Man, Jimmy, the first time I took CBD oil, my son gave me some to try, and I took it, and I went and reffed high school volleyball. Oh, my God. The entire freshman match, I'm on the stand just fucking flying from CBD oil. And then it wore off for the varsity match. But I was just like, hey, let's have a good time, boys. <coughs> yeah, she needs it. She needs to chill the fuck out. All right, he went down. Dan Jones. 96 speed running back who can also play DB. Ninety speed wide receiver. Joe Jackson, the singer. Eighty nine speed wide receiver. He's a quarterback. He's not that great though. Eighty seven speed wide receiver. He's not that great. I don't want anybody in the eighties on the receiving. 92 speed. Oh, he's a gem. That's a running back. I don't need a running back. 78 speed quarterback with 90 throw power. Not great. Derek Flanagan. 87 speed strong safety. Marlon Justice. What a name. 85 speed strong safety. Dallas Graham. 91 speed corner. Sterling Heron, 86 speed with 90 tackle. <laughs> There's 82 speed outside with 88 tackle. Not very good coverage. 84 speed DN with 82 power moves. 83 block shed. Yeah. Mike Dickens, 75 speed. Eh, he's nothing special. Arthur Moore. 87 speed with 83 throw and 80 accuracy. 89 elusive, 84 excel, 85 agility, 83 jumping at a quarterback. 85 juke, 80 break tackle. All right. Let's go. Let's just go by position. QB. We're number one there. We're way at the bottom. Ernest. 
You are an 84, 86. All right, let's see if we can get this guy to commit. Insta commit right now. Nope. All right, no halfback, fullback, wide receiver. 82 overall. It's 90 speed, 80 catch, 86 route running. <laughs> 90 speed, 93 route running. Cha-ching, motherfucker, look at this. We just got a 90 speed with 80 catching and 86 route running right off the rip. <laughs> All right, tight end. Nobody there. Tackle. 81 tackle. 79 tackle. 77 guard. He signs. He'll be the center. Defensive end. Okay. 50 tackles. Outside. Okay, we got to work for that. Middle. Got to work for that. Corner. We got six guys. Timmy Dickerson. Strong. Athletes. All right. CJ Parham. All right. So we got an 82 overall five star wide receiver from Las Vegas right off the rip. So that moves us down to only needing two. And we got this guard who's going to go play center. All right, so center is done. One wide receiver is done. So that takes us down to 10. We only need 10 guys. All right, now let's sort these guys by position. Wide receiver, tight end, tackle, tackle. Don't need you anymore. Yeah, we don't need 69 overalls. What is this guy? <clears throat> this guy can play corner. Parham, 90 speed. He's a wide receiver. Dan Jones is a corner. Joe Jackson is a singer. He's also a quarterback and a wide receiver. He's probably a better wide receiver than quarterback. Well, his speed sucks. Um, yeah, yeah, there. Robert Brown is a wide receiver. He's not very good because he has 87 speed. You know what? We're going to shit can him because I don't want 87 speed wide receivers. And Jackson's gone too. Is Parham gone? Melvin Summers, 92 speed wide receiver. He can also play running back. He's not very good at anything but running backs. So you know what? Melvin's going to go bye bye. We do not need a running back. You're gone. Graham is a corner. Safety, you're gone. We don't want 69. We do 169, but not for him. All those corners. 80. 79 outside. Go there. 
there. We're going to go back and look at more guys here in a minute. So give me a second. We just got to get these guys in order so I don't have to resort these guys every fucking week. <clears throat> You're terrible. Your speed is terrible. All right, let's go look at some more free agents. That's what they are. We call them recruits, but really they're free agents, right? I can't wait to see if NIL is in this. All right, you're an 81, 81 overall athlete, 6'4", 230. You're a wide receiver. You're most definitely a wide receiver. And we have a great pitch on you. All right, you're going on the board. Don't need you. God, I'd love to have you. Don't need you. What are you? You're a corner and a wide receiver. Throw you on the board. 448 wide receiver with a good bonus. Throw you on the board. Thomas Thomas. His mother was very original naming him. He's a running back. Eighty-one overall defense event. Hey, we'll throw you on the board just for the hell of it. This guy would move. God, I would move him to D tackle, but he's too light. C.J. Liston. Relative of Sonny Liston. Yeah, I'll throw you on the board. Are you a quarterback? No. D accuracy. You're not a quarterback. A 4 3 8 halfback. You're a quarterback. And you're going to go on the board. Are you a quarterback also? No. All right. Let's go scout the new guys. And then we'll start putting points on guys. Scott Brooks. 88 speed, wide receiver. That's a shame. 94 Excel. Tommy Smith. 90 speed, corner and wide receiver. Yep. TJ Ray. <clears throat> 89 speed, wide receiver. <clears throat> great, great catching, route running, spec catch, catching traffic, release. Yeah. Oops. Did not mean to exit out of there. We'll just leave you on there and you're probably not going to be anybody we go after, but we'll, we'll just leave you on the board just as a... 81 D end. He drops 77 speed. CJ Liston. 93 speed with 79 catching and 88 route running. Carlos Goodman. 93 speed with 81 accuracy. You're a running back. You're most definitely a running back that can throw the ball. Yeah, we'll leave you on the board just in case these guys don't get recruited at all. All right, let's move them around, and then we're going to go put points on players. I'll put you with quarterback, but you're really a running back. I'm not even going to put you number two, because I know you're a running back.
And this whole list is going to change as soon as we advance the week, so. receiver and a DB. I'm going to put you with the DBs because you're the one of the highest DBs we have. And Brooks is a wide receiver. So that's how we'll deal with that. 81. God, but his route running is fucking awesome. Alright. Alright, so. <clears throat> Ernest, we're going to start out low. We're going to give you 200. We're going to come back and add points to these guys as we go. Hmm. Auburn. Auburn's the one team that can beat us out on him. We already have one. Or one there. 88 speed. I don't want the 88 speed guys. points to these guys in a minute. I just want to mark the guys that I'm interested in. <clears throat> We're going to have to go 700 on Brandon Hall. So we're just going to mark that right away. All right, we're first there, first there. We just need one of them. Lee Jones is getting at least 500, but we're going to just mark the guy we want. All right. We may throw 200 on him too. So let's see. We need one D end. One. We're first there. What is his speed? 75, 77, 74, 84. Yeah, we're going to lose 80 points to AM. <clears throat> Need one outside. Mac in him. Need two corners. Ninety zone. Jesus, we can move him to free. this guy well he's the quarterback <clears throat> he's a slower quarterback good throw power So, 700. What's up, tight spot? How you doing, man? Dude, we won the natty. We beat Ohio State. 
And we signed an extension, so we're going to stay here until we win uh, 100 in a row or we lose a game. As soon as we lose a game, we're leaving. Otherwise, we're going to stay until we win 100 in a row, and then we'll leave. Now nah, you can watch the bot. It's okay. Those are the guys we're going to put points on, and then we're going to advance the week, and we'll see how many guys we lose and how many of them we get, and we'll uh, add more guys on the board, and then we'll, once we get done with all that recruiting shit, then we'll be done for the day, and I'll be back tomorrow to start the season. As you saw, we're going to play uh, Florida and Miami and one other really high-ranked team. <clears throat> It's very possible I have a uh, a uh, night stream over the weekend, so not sure if it'll be Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, but I might very well get another night stream or even two over the weekend so that we can get closer to finishing off this season by the end of next week. I know MLB The Show for me releases on Monday night, late Monday night, um, but I got to do some work with the roster file. Um before we start our franchise with the Cardinals. Because um, I don't want to wait like multiple weeks into the season for MLB to release their updated roster. We'll use the updated roster later. All right. So here, tight spot. Here's, here's, uh... <clears throat> yeah, I shaved everything a few days ago. It's, it's growing back slowly. So here's our uh, schedule. So tomorrow we're going to play Georgia, Miami, and Mississippi. And then the following stream is Oklahoma, Missouri, and Kansas. And then West Virginia, Iowa State, Florida State. I'm sorry, K-State. Then Florida, Colorado, and Texas. Somewhere along the line here, we're going to play four games in one stream. So that we get to Colorado, Texas, and the Big 12 Championship in its own stream. So one of these streams, we're going to have four games. So don't know which one it'll be. We'll just see how it goes. <clears throat> Heisman watch. Who's first on the Heisman list? Mississippi, oh, Minnesota's quarterback. USC's quarterback. We don't have anybody on the Heisman watch. Okay. There you go, tight spot. Championship contender page. Look at that. We fell one spot in the rankings even though we didn't play. Yeah. We just signed an extension, so we're going to stay here. Um, you can go back to this page, and you can see. So it went 11-2. and two. That's the last time we lost a game. Went undefeated, but didn't get in the natty because there was three undefeated teams. Won two in a row. And we're just going to stay here until we either lose a game or win 100 in a row, and then we're out of here. So 100, 100 in a row would happen in this season right here. Yep, so 14 times 3. Let me multiply that out. Let's see, calculator. 14 times 3 is 42. That would get us to 90. So we'd have to win our 10th game in this season to get to 100. So basically we got four more years at Louisiana unless we lose a game. <clears throat> so all right recruiting let's go see what the damage was yeah i'm gonna get it this year i'm gonna get it this time because we didn't last time we switched and went to duke and they were a shit team and i lost um so we're just gonna op this team and do what we have to do all right arthur moore no one is recruiting this guy 87 speed, 83 throw, 80 accuracy with 89 elusive, and 80 break tackle. Huh. 
No one's recruiting this guy either. 90 throw power. You're gone. So we fell behind, but we have the better bonus. So we're just going to kick him to 700 and be done with it. Not getting him. And we're not getting him. I could get this guy, but I'm not going after him. This guy, only Michigan has him on their board. CJ's one, so, yeah. You're gone. We only need two more because we just signed one. You're gone. Move you up. Tight end. 700 points. We're losing 10. So we're never going to get to one on him, so we're just going to offer him right now to get the extra bonus points. <clears throat> now we'll stay in it. Dickens is gone. We're going to look for another tight end. Tackle. We're just going to put him at 700 and be done and cut Brown. Defensive end, we're not getting him. Not getting him. We just need one of these guys. And we're not getting him. I am going to look for another D-end. We'll put him up at five. Outside, not getting him. And we'll put you... We'll fucking give you 700. You're gone. We'll leave you on the board. You're gone. And we'll put you at 700. You're gone. We need two corners. All right, so we're number one on him, so we can go ahead and offer. Didn't get him. <clears throat> and we'll just max him out. Yeah, these guys are gone. We're going to look for another corner, just in case. Unless one of these guys... Man, he's slow, though. He's... No, he isn't. All right, we're one there, so we're going to offer this guy and see if we can get him. And we'll give him his 100 points. Jordy Johnson. Yeah, not going after you. And Derek Flanagan. Please, please, instant commit. Sign, please. Thank you. Yes. All right. Strong safety's out of the way. We'll max you out. <clears throat> You're gone. We only need two corners. But I want to make sure we get two of these guys. There's no guarantee we're going to get Malone. Right? Probably won't get this guy, but we'll leave him on the board. We need one outside. We'll take care of that. We need one D-end. We'll get him. One tackle. We'll get him. One tight end. Eh. We're going to go look for another tight end. And... Wide receiver, we might throw another guy on the board. And quarterback. I can just leave him. I don't even have to give him points because we're the only guy that has the only team that has him on the board. Let's give him 500. And Johnson. You know what? Let's offer him just for the hell of it and see what happens. Nope. Alright, so that's fine. And that's fine. All right, so I need to look at wide receiver, tight end, and corner. Nah, not even really corner. All right, let's go. Let's just go look at under 25%. <clears throat> A lot of guys. Bench press isn't bad, but we're going to start by speed. We've already got an offer. No, 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 no. What are you? B and C. D elusive. Yeah. I think we got enough of those guys. Right, wide receiver.
Anybody that already has an offer just gets ignored. This is where I differ with Param Crow because he'll be throwing these guys on the board, but they already have an offer. They're not going to sign. This guy will throw on the board. I do like the guys with uh, low speed and possession. 6'4", 189. I'll throw him on the board. All right, tight end. I want a fast tight end that has good blocking. Georgia Tech's already got him locked down. All the top tight ends are gone. Um, don't need offensive line, although it wouldn't be too bad to look at this. He's a 60. Wow. 464 at tackle? Shit. Don't like run blocking tackles. I want balanced or pass block. If they're a tackle with run blocking, we kick them inside. <clears throat> All right, defensive end, fast DNs. Maybe we weren't getting him. He's Juco. We'll just throw him on the board to get passive points with him. He does he's run blocker a run stopper, so he does have good power moves. We'll throw him on the board. I could play outside. I think we're good. I think we are good. Four two six. Four three four. I was on him. I can tell Jimmy's recruiting against me. He's a wide receiver. This guy is absolutely a wide receiver. No. What the fuck is he? He's a DB. It's a running back. We don't need a running back. <clears throat> Alright, we're, we're done. So, let's go scout these guys. No, I'd have no points left. That's right. So what do we have left that's not scouted? We're after all the corners. So so these guys right here are what we need to scout next time. So we got this 82 overall wide receiver. 90 speed, 80 catch, 86 route running straight out of the gate. This guy's going to go play center with 80 strength. And 87 speed, strong safety. With 72 block shed. All right. Boys and girls, I think we're done. I think we are done. Let me go save. And uh, we were successful. Won our second natty in a row at Louisiana. Looking at winning our third in a row. Hopefully we'll win five or six in a row and then get the fuck out of here. 
But uh, trying to get our 100 in a row before the new game comes out. So. That's where we're at. Let me turn down the sound so it doesn't play constantly while I'm off the game. And let's see. Who can we go raid? Who's available? KD Smokes playing NBA. San Diego Studios has a stream about MLB The Show. You guys have anybody you want me to go raid to? Let me know in the chat. Throw their name in there so I can go raid to them. Um... Everybody I know is not streaming right now, so. Next week. Tomorrow we're going to start this next season. And we're going to work on trying to get this next season finished by the end of next week. The first week when MLB The Show comes out, I'll be working on fixing the roster file for Franchise. And I'll probably just be grinding on Diamond Dynasty to... <clears throat> to uh, get some cards and shit just to waste time while I update the roster file. And then we'll start our Cardinals franchise from there while I try and fix my hometown team. All the fucking pitchers are old like me and have gray hair. So, yeah, if we don't have anybody, I'll send you off to KD. You can watch him play NBA 2K24. He only has four people, so we'll go give him a raid. But uh, anyway, watch your uh, notifications. I'll be on tomorrow sometime during the morning, late morning, before lunch, after I eat breakfast. And uh, you guys have a good rest of the day. I'm going to go work out and then play with my dogs and take a shower. So you guys take care, Rocky. Good luck with the house, man. And uh, you guys take care. And I will uh, talk to you guys later on. I'm going to queue up this thing, give you the thanks for watching, and we'll go raid Katie, man. Mm -hmm.